Hello everybody, my name is Dan and I will be your host. I am testing Strategic War in Europe. It is currently in beta, so I'm hoping for a lot to come of this. This game has a pretty unique interface from what I've seen, but a lot of civilization style gameplay. It's got some interesting features in the menu here, but I don't know. Uh, I just started a new map, so I'm trying to get my bearings here. Let's see what kind of preferences we can play with here. So we got some good resolution, do windowed mode. Bunch of options in gameplay. One thing that I was playing with before is showing the weather, but I think that the cloud cover is actually a little too distracting, so I'm going to keep that off. Uh, I think it's pretty much how I like it here. You can change the border colors to make things more visible there, like the orange instead of maybe the white. I think I'm going to stay with the default orange. So anyway, uh, let's see what I can do. I'm going to hit tab to see my next unit. So from the playtime that I've gotten with this game, the one thing I've learned is that I really don't know what I'm doing with the Navy. Uh, I've learned to repair units kind of like this, and it uses some of our production points up top, but beyond that, I don't know. I mean, I can't repair them all the way, but it'll help. So I'm going to say, this fleet, let's move, and I think the only options I get are, I guess, the circle. That's that's really my best guess, because then he's gone. Let's take the big group here, we're going to move them up there. And they'll probably have had combat somewhere in the middle. So that's Navy. We're going to hit tab, and I can control this unit. Let's see what we own first. I'm going to shift the map here. Let's look at political. So they recommend for the beta that we play as Germany and so we are. So this is further in and I think there's kind of a ceasefire with the Russians right now. So I think I'm gonna try and go after the French. We'll see what we can do. and attack this unit. You can click on one unit and attack them with multiple of yours, which is always a good thing. It's a little more realistic there. So they... There were significant losses, actually more than I thought there would be on both sides, but especially with that strength differential, but I think we're going to try it again. I don't know if it'll let me do both again, so we're just going to use the armor group until it won't let me anymore. There we go. So, I don't think we can move in right now. That's not going so well. Let's see if we can do any air raid here. We lost one plane, but we did some decent damage. I think I'm going to try again. This is a fighter unit to really protect the bombers more so than anything. Let's see about that. anything else on the other fronts I need to worry about. No, not really, so I think that's going to be it for this turn. Well, no. Let's look at buying a unit here. So we've got a lot of production points. Nothing is already in production, otherwise we would see another screen. So I think I'm going to look into I guess army here. Let's make them level 2. And now they will be in production. Let's 
It's a convoy. Alright, let's end our turn here. Airstrike on the Navy. And another one. Nothing happened there. And again, nothing affected. And Italy just joined. Okay. So the convoy that was going to try was attacked in the North Sea and destroyed. And I think this means that one of my submarines attacked something in France. So now a new turn. So now we can go over here and we can upgrade units. I'm trying to remember how to repair with reinforce. So we say max, it'll cost that, yes. Get them back up to strength. And we'll move in with the armor. Killer dad joined the server. So when you have a green X, you can move and move back. Or do another action before the unit's out of movement points. But anyways, that's about it. That's basic turn in strategic war in Europe. Uh, very similar gameplay, like I said, to the Civilization games. It's got its own unique twist to it, especially with the World War II environment. And me loving history, that really speaks to me. Uh, I think that this game could use maybe a little bit of improvement with the tutorials just because I know I've got some experience with these games and I've had some trouble understanding but all in all I think this is a game I could get pulled into pretty easily kinda take the war into your own hands although I'd really love to be the one kicking the crap out of the Germans years earlier than it was supposed to be but that's me take it into your own hands and have some fun thanks